Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a really easy pie. It's so easy. <laughs> so you can do this um, at home. Like, have you ever baked before? I've never baked before. Fantastic. I've been like, ever? Never. Really? This is your very first time? This is my first time. We will see how you do. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Paul Tran, and this is Paul Tran Baker Man. Before. I mean, I've cut things up and put them onto a pan, like yeah. out of a Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That baking. I mean, you didn't make this up yourself. But no, no, no. Baking. But I put the oven on. <laughs> yes. So the very first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna make our pie dough and then set that into the fridge for a little bit. We've already pre-measured, basically, uh, just a pie dough each. So if you make it all together, it's one and two thirds cup of um, all-purpose flour, which comes down to 225 grams of um, flour. And so we split that up to be about 112 each. And we are gonna need a tablespoon of um, sugar and a tablespoon of salt to put in. So a tablespoon is three teaspoons. So we're gonna put in about a, or a teaspoon and a half of each into this to make a mixture. You go ahead. All right. Oh, thank you. No problem. I'm gonna start cutting a stick of butter. It's eight tablespoons or 113 grams. And I'm gonna just cut it into cubes just so that I can pop this back in the fridge real fast because we want our butter to be as cold as possible. Well, I should say the one stick of butter, the eight grams, just for one pie dough. If you're making two, which is nice because then you can make two and then just separate it out and use one for later or make two pies or make a covered pie. This is just really good pie dough. <laughs> so our pie today is gonna be an open face pie? It is. Well, this is called is either called a galette or a freeform pie. So just from touching it, it's kind of melted in my fingers a little bit. Just from directly. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge real fast, which should harden it up a little bit. So I'm gonna keep it as cold as possible, and we want nice big chunks. Is that all right? Yeah, that's great. So take the cold butter out of the fridge and we're just gonna put this into our dough. Or not our dough, it's not dough yet, but our flour. So I'm gonna coat my fingers a little bit so I get a little bit of flour on my fingers and then I'm just gonna start tossing the butter in the flour and try to be like a very light touch because I don't want the butter to melt in my hands. Having cold butter is what actually causes a flaky pastry. Interesting. Because when you put it into the oven, that water that's within the butter will start to evaporate and it'll cause puff. <laughs> so you want nice, big, lovely chunks yep. and also little chunks that are about the size of pebbles. Okay. And then toss it a little bit more to make sure it's all coated in flour. Let's do it again. And this is what you call cutting the butter? Cutting the butter. That's right. I didn't know that before today. <laughs> so we met at a retreat where we were in a cabin and I didn't have access to very many tools, but I did have a plastic giant measuring cup like this one that acted as my mixing bowl almost for the entire weekend. And it was fun to try to figure out how can I do some very basic things? Like, you can pulse this in a food processor and it would be done in seconds. <laughs> yeah. But as you said, you know, people have been baking pies for years and didn't have food processors, right? They did not have food processors. But they were doing things like this. Like, we got there before anybody else did. Yeah. The cabin. Yeah. And the closest person was still half an hour away. So I made a couple pie dough. Oh, like, just and put that in the fridge. And then I was done before anybody showed up. So that's what I used the next day. Nice. I think these are looking really good and we're just gonna add a quarter cup of cold water to them. 
and then just kind of mix it until it's just combined into a ball. So for this, we're going to actually make the pie dough into a disc because when we roll it out later, it's going to be a lot easier to roll out in a circular um, shape okay. if it's already in a circle. Yeah. And then just cover it up. And so this will sit in the fridge anywhere between 30 minutes to an entire day. We are making apple freeform pies, so we're gonna just peel it, dice it, core it, and put it in a bowl, and then mix in some sugar and flavoring. So we're gonna dice it? Yeah. All right. I mean, like you do, I'm gonna cut it very thinly. Okay. And so you're welcome to cut it in the same way, yeah. or a dice, just so that the pieces are small, yeah. so that they can they cook bake, yeah, and quickly. All right, okay, cool. I think they're going to do really well for the pie itself because they are just so thin. Yeah. I think you've done a great job. And I actually think yours is going to be really attractive, especially if you lay it out like in a decorative pattern. Ooh, okay. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to add sugar, salt, and some flavoring. Okay. What I always do is like I always have a pinch of salt in there just to add flavor because salt does so much just for the flavor itself. So just grab a pinch and put it in there. Yes, right. it helps bind a lot of the flavors specifically to our um, palate. Mm. I'm just kind of mix that in, and you're going to need about I think it's going to be about a quarter cup of sugar. It's just enough to be able to coat everything. Okay. Like just all the different slices. So it's okay that our salt doesn't coat everything? No, you just need a pinch of it. Okay. Because the pinch will go a very long way. Whereas the sugar is going to go, you just need a little bit more of it. Now, what's really great about the sugar is that it starts a process called osmosis. You know, like those jokes, like when we were kids, like there's like, oh, if I sleep on my textbook, I'll get osmosis. Yeah, yeah, you learn through osmosis, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the actual oil, osmosis, because the sugar then draws out a lot of the liquid, because right. it, the apples will want to try to balance the amount of liquid on the outside as it is on the inside. And so it'll start pulling it out and create a syrup, Ooh. which is really nice. It kind of dehydrates the apple a little bit. So if we put it in, then um, like to, to the oven, mm -hmm. it's not going to bake it out and cause that to leach out. So if you make apple cake, a lot of times that's why you'll find giant pockets around the apples because it hasn't been leached of its liquid yet. Giant like air pockets? Air pockets, yeah. Interesting. Which are not great. Yeah, yeah. So you wanted a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg, right? I thought that'd be nice. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna put in Chinese spice spice. Okay. It's a little more of that Vietnamese flair, which has like Szechuan peppercorn, okay. um, cassia, which is kind of like a cinnamon, um, some fennel, and two other things. <laughs> right, five spices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think mine's looking pretty even. I'm gonna taste this bit. Can you tell that it's already getting liquidy? Yeah, no, mine is a lot more wet than it was before. Yeah, and there will be just a pool in a little while. Oh. Oh, great. So we're gonna set this aside, maybe have some lunch, and then we'll get back to um, making the pie. <laughs> we're ready to roll out our dough. I feel like this is a lot tougher than what was before, so that's good. So it's kind of like a really big mushy mess earlier, but I wouldn't say mess. <laughs> I would not say mess. I took an egg and I whipped it, a, beaten it a little bit and put it into a little container. And then I took some cling film and put it down onto our work surface. So I'm gonna unwrap it. And then just put it face down onto the work surface and then try to spread that other piece of cling film as much as possible just so I can roll out the dough between the two layers of clean film. OK. 
so I don't have to roll out any more dough, or I don't have to use any like extra flour or anything. And he's using my rolling pin. I have the one. I guess I technically have more than that, but it just. I pulled out a bottle of wine just to show you that you don't always need a rolling pin to roll it out. So typically I like just roll it out as far as it could possibly go. <laughs> and you're limited by the amount that you have with your cling film. But generally it's going to be about 8 to 9 inches apart from one side to the other. It's just as nice of a circle as you could possibly get. Mine's looking good. It's about an eighth of an inch. I think I'm there. An eighth of an inch thick? Yes. Okay. Find still like some more. Sure. A little uh, oblong at the moment. Good job. That looks really good. Okay. I have two sheet pans here. A book with Ooh, parchment paper. Shoot. That could be fine. It'd be okay. Just kind of lift this a little bit. Alright. Yeah, see? You're fine. And you can move. I'll give you one. Thank you. So I'm gonna just gonna pull a little bit so that you pull the ceramic out from underneath or the <clears throat> it's gonna pull the cling from out from underneath the dough. From underneath? Oh just because it gets tucked in a little bit. Yeah. Just remove that top layer. Alright. And then I'm gonna try to be very careful about how I do that. Pull it well. back a little bit, so it's good. All right, so I'm gonna. Yeah, that looks really good. There. Yeah. Just pull it back. Pull it back. All right. Beautiful. I kind of like imagine where my circle is gonna be, and you can do yours like really decoratively if you want. I'm just kind of just okay. put it down some apples, but I'm gonna show you how to do how I do this first. And it's okay if you don't use all your apples. Well, I might want to eat some, so you can. Oh, you could use it on top of like yogurt. Like, it's really nice in Greek Ooh. yogurt. Like if you do this with berries, it's really nice. And if you do use it with berries, make sure that you actually maybe throw in some like lemon zest or something. And throw some flavors into that. Okay. All right. So you want about like a you want the circle somewhere in the middle. Right. Okay. So you can see how I kind of did that. Yeah. In, you see. It doesn't have to be like. So tight and like I've made it. <laughs> Mine look like California. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> you made it look so pretty. <laughs> I tried. It. So all I'm gonna do is start folding up. Creating little pleats. Yeah. Expand that a little bit, but yeah, I like that. There it is. That also bit cold. That's fine. I think that it gives it a really nice rustic appeal when it's not like a perfect. Perfect, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna use some egg wash to coat the sides here. What this is going to do is that it's going to give some browning to your dough, uh -huh. and it's going to be very, very attractive. So I'm just painting it on. I didn't have a brush whenever I was at the retreat, so I just used my, my fingers, and it worked perfectly well, I thought. Nice. So that leftover syrup that you do have, I'm actually going to take some of it and just pour it in. Oh, yeah. Because like it's really concentrated juices from those apples, which is nice. Okay. Thank you. And typically, I would 
also throw a little flour in with the apples. Just to thicken it up? Just to thicken it up. I didn't do that this time. I just didn't think of it. But it'll be okay. Should I throw a little bit in here? No, you'll be fine. No, all right. Yeah. It's not gonna be too wet? No, I don't think so. And then I'm gonna take a, some sugar and I'm gonna start sprinkling it around the edge. What is pie? Not what is like the food pie, but the number pie is like a... The number pie is your, the circumference of the circle. The circumference, okay. The length of that divided by the diameter. Right, okay. So the line that you could put right through the middle. Right, okay. So it's that length divided by that length, and that's pie. That's pie. Yeah. All right, great. Now, so I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees, and this should bake about 35 minutes. Watch the dough, and when it gets to like a really nice golden brown, you're good to go. And you can pull it out and let it rest. Let's do it. Try yours first. I'm gonna try yours first. Oh, okay, mine first. Yes. Yours first. <laughs> it's hot. Mm. Those apples are amazing. And that's the one with the Chinese spice spice. Yeah. As a seasoning. Oh, interesting. It gives it kind of like a savory kick, but at the same time, it's so warm. Yeah. Oh, you're just so steaming. No, dude, yeah, this is, yeah. Mine is not. <laughs> no, this is yours, this is yours. Oh, no, I mean, like, oh, my plate, right, right, yeah. right. It's because I had that big air pocket, just let it all out. Oh, right, yeah. How's the flakiness? All that sugar on top that we crusted it with gives it such a nice texture. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, good. I think I just lifted off like an entire flake. Yeah. So good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with your pie as well, man. <laughs> the recipe I'll give online will be the one with the Chinese five spice in it. You should use it. Just in general? Yeah, all the time. Oh, it'd be good in some cobbler. Yeah. It's just really good with apples. Yeah, because no, I agree. Just that really nice, warm, wintry. It was snowing here yesterday, so. I feel wintry is perfect right now. It's where my winter house coat for this very occasion. Okay, I'm ready to dig in yours. How do, do you it. feel? I'm nervous but excited at the same time. I think they're two sides of the same pie. Me too. I, it's delicious. But the cinnamon and nutmeg? Very, it's very, um, it's classic. Classic American apple pie. I do think, though, mm -hmm. for next time, to learn from from my um, endeavors, I wouldn't call them mistakes, but leaving more room, leaving more air, definitely does let things rise a little bit more. Mm -hmm. As opposed to being more dense. Because what did you do this time to make it more dense? Well, I think I folded down my sides too hard and didn't okay. leave enough room, I think, for the air to breathe inside the inside the pie itself. And I really did just kind of like flop yeah, it over. Yeah, flop it over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is more of a hard fold. But that's also why I think yours, because you have more yeah. of them, I think that's also why you have more of a circular shape. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Circ Circular. Circular. Shaped. Nuclear. <laughs> Where's mine <laughs> more hexagonal? Yeah. Well, congratulations. It's your very first bake ever. First bake. I did it. Thank you so much. And you make pastry. Which yes. Is... Oh my gosh. I'm excited. It's, it's flaky. It's buttery. It's cinnamony. It's apple-y. And it's super low calorie. <laughs> There's not that much sugar in it, which is fantastic. There's a stick of butter in this. There is a stick of butter. <laughs> <laughs> But that's only if you eat the entire... Which I'm going to do. 